conditions are changing. We had bright blue skies <laughs> earlier, much calmer here, but we do have some clouds yeah. moving in as we expect more rain. I prefer a rainstorm over a dust storm Me too. any day. And wow. it's interesting what they say when you get caught in a dust, dust storm to get off the road and turn your brake lights off so that nobody follows and you know runs right. into you. It, it, it seems doesn't make sense, right? It's counterintuitive, yeah. but uh, that's what they that's what mm -hmm. they say like in uh, Arizona and things like that. Rivermark Community Credit Union camera right now on top of the Portland Opera building. Gray skies, but a dry Tillicum crossing and 54 degrees current temperature we have at PDX. So it feels pretty pleasant out there. East winds at six miles per hour. Take you out to the Chinook Winds Beach camera. Dark clouds out that direction. They'll be uh, looking at some rain showers arriving a little bit later on. 56 degrees currently in Lincoln City. West winds at seven. Now we'll go up uh, to the Columbia River there on the Washington side, the Mary Hill Tasting Room and Bistro Camera, and a few folks out there enjoying a nice little, somewhat cloudy, but a nice view nonetheless. 53 degrees there in Vancouver. Go to the radar. We see just a little shower activity starting to push in around the Newport area. This would just be a few miscellaneous lead-in showers, little hit and miss showers before the brunt of the system comes in as we get later into the afternoon and into the evening. So right around the Portland metro probably won't be until later this afternoon when we'll start to see some of those showers push in, but then when it arrives, you'll You'll notice it. It is going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good little downpour out there. 50 degrees currently in Vernonia, 52 Hillsboro, 53 in Beaverton, up to 54 in Milwaukee. Woodland, Washington's at 55, 53 Battleground in Nicamas, Stratdale's 55, 53 Happy Valley, and then both Sandy and Estacada sitting at 51 degrees apiece. So here's that cloud rain forecast map. We get to 3 o'clock this afternoon. Those of you south of Portland, Salem down to Eugene, out along uh, the coast there, you'll be looking at some rainy conditions, even pushing over towards the Cascades, some high elevation snow. That'll be above pass elevation here this afternoon. Once we get to about 4 35 o'clock, then it should make its way into the Portland area. Uh, look at how heavy it'll be raining by 8 o'clock this evening. Also some pretty good, even heavier showers uh, just a little bit inland from Newport. And then by the time we get into tomorrow mid-morning, most everything dies down. Still some clouds, very scattered showers, but a lot of that rain will push, push its way over towards the east side of the state. Most of the day on Saturday should be fairly dry. Uh, we'll just see a few clouds overhead, quite a few clouds. We get to around lunchtime on Sunday. We'll have a quick band of showers going through, and that's just about it for us on Sunday. So more dry time over the weekend than rainy conditions. The heaviest, steadiest rain will actually be taking place as we get into the late afternoon hours tonight into tomorrow morning. Between uh, now and then, about 5,700 hundredths of an inch of rain in Portland, 8,200 hundredths down in Salem, 9,300 hundredths in Newport, inch and a half for Detroit and Welch's and getting close to two inches of rain there in Bonneville. So that seven day forecast, just be prepared for the rainiest time to be as we get to the late afternoon into the early morning hours on Saturday. 60 the high today, up to 66, a couple of showers on Saturday, fairly overcast, uh, pretty good clouds there on Sunday. That little rain shower going through around lunchtime up to 68. And then Monday, Tuesday, look to be mostly dry, partly cloudy skies, mid 60s for highs both days. But then by Wednesday, right back into a rainy and cool system with a high of 58. By Thursday, we could see some showers and thunderstorms and a high of only 59 degrees. Kim? Thank you, Andy.